Tales from the Crypt Keeper appeared on Saturday morning television on ABC in 1993 and was on the air for two seasons and then returned for a third season five years after the end of the second season with a new title, New Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Uh, the show, of course, was based on the hit HBO series of horror anthology, which was in turn based on the classic EC comic series of the same name. Now, as was per the norm in the late 80s and early 90s, the animated series was awarded a series of figures based on the animated series. God, that's a lot of series. Uh, the toys were released by an odd company called Ace Novelty, a company that had never made and have not made a figure line before or since. Uh, the line consisted of just eight figures, of all of which appeared at retail. The werewolf, vampire, mummy, Frankenstein, the zombie, Gargoyle, and two different Crypt Keeper figures. Now the figures, while being constructed well, just really don't look very great. Now the company, of course, couldn't use the well-known images of the classic monsters featured in this line, but instead of designing some unique versions of the characters, they almost appear to have been designed by a fourth grader. Uh, but enough about my frustration with the character designs, let's take a look at the characters themselves. Uh, the werewolf figure here is kind of cool. Uh, it features a whopping four points of articulation, woohoo, and has a special feature. By pressing the lever on his back, his head swings back and then snaps forward to attack an unseen villager. Oh, and his tail falls out a lot. It's annoying. Uh, the vampire features a cloth cape and his arms hanging down at his side. By sliding a lever on his back, his arms raise and his vampire teeth slide down in his open mouth. Uh, it's very weird and kind of scary. Uh, the gargoyle features flapping wings and a bobbing head with the press of a button on his back. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, I guess it works for a gargoyle. Uh, the mummy looks more like a zombie in my mind and with sliding his lever down, his arms swing up and his eyes change from black to orange to poorly simulate glowing eyes. Uh, the Frankenstein monster kind of looks like Sloth from the Goonies, uh, but has one of the simplest special features ever created. All of his parts, head, legs, and arms can unattach from his body and then reattach in different ways, allowing you to create a strange Frankenstein monster indeed. Now, the zombie doesn't stand very well due to the shambling nature of most zombies. His only feature here is his right forearm and left leg can be detached to show a kind of, want you to believe, bloody stump. Now, the two figures that most collectors would want here are the Crypt Keeper figures. Now, the first of the two Crypt Keepers features the iconic horror host dressed in his classic robes and with the slide of the lever on his back, his arms raise and lower while his head moves to look towards his raised arm. Now, the second Crypt Keeper figure features the character dressed in a tuxedo and actually has the same exact feature as the first Crypt Keeper does. Now, I won't lie to you, uh, these figures aren't great, but for any true fan of Tales from the Crypt, these figures are must-have collectibles. Uh, the good thing is you can still find them for decent prices that won't destroy any bank account, which is always a plus when collecting little known and odd figure lines. And, as I said, while the average toy collector may not enjoy them, Tales from the Crypt Keeper fans will absolutely abhor them. Abhor them? And as I said, the average toy collector may not enjoy them, but Tales from the Crypt Keeper fans will absolutely adore them. <laughs>